In this video, we will talk about another example of dynamic programming. It's called the knapsack problem. In this problem, we will have different items. In this example, we have five items. Every item has a value, like how important this item or how expensive is this item. And also it has weight. We need to select the items and put it in the knapsack such that we don't exceed the maximum weight the maximum weight here is 11 so we need to select some items put it here so that we have a large weight imagine you select like uh, you select item 1 item 7 Uh, sorry, item 1 and item 5 and item 2. So item 1 has weight 1. Item 5 has weight 7. Item 2 has weight 2. So in total we have 10 which is less than the weight. So we can put all the three items. Now the question, what's the value that we will get? We will get value one plus six plus 28. One plus six plus 28. So now it's 35. So this is the solution that we get for this. But now the question, is this the best? Can we get more value, more valuable items that are, does not exceed this weight? The question, yes. If we decided to take item three and item four, the weight will be okay because item three has five and item four has six. The total is 12, which is okay with this. And what's the value now? The value is 18 plus 29, so we have 14. So we get a better value. So this is the problem. You are giving n objects. Every object has a weight and a value. And the knapsack has a maximum weight. And we want to fill the maximum to maximize the total value of the item. If we want to do some greedy, So what's the greedy do for this knapsack? So maybe the greedy will decide So maybe the greedy said, okay, let me take the most valuable item So in this case, I will choose this item first Because it has a lot of value, but then it has Await seven, right? Then I choose. I try to choose this, but I cannot choose this because if I bought six, then it will be uh, the weight will be six plus seven, which is thirteen more than this. If I try to put this again, then it's a problem because five plus seven is twelve, so it's more than this weight. I can put two. So if I bought two, the weight is two. It's nine less than uh, 11. I also can bought one. So in this case, the weight is okay. But the problem with this solution is that the weight that I will, the value that I get is not optimal. It's 35, while the optimal is 40. So the greedy is not good, does not bring optimal solution. So one way is to use dynamic programming. So I will skip the de this detail because he here we try to do something similar like in weighted interval scheduling, but it's not successful. Let's go back to the correct way to do it. So we will define something called opt IW. Opt 
IW it means what's the optimal solution if you have only items from 1 to I and if you have weight maximum W okay for example let me go back to the this example here I can say opt 3 5 what's the meaning of 3 opt 3 5 opt 3 means I am only allowed to use the first three jobs this is the meaning of this three five means I'm only allowed to use five kilo if you are only allowed to use five kilo then I think it's better to choose this job and you get value of 80 okay another example let's compute opt two and uh, three opt two three opt two means we are allowed to use the first two jobs three means we have maximum total weight of three because we have three then we can choose them both so the solution is seven if we choose both items and for sure if we said opt zero or five it will be zero because we don't have any item to choose same way if we said opt three zero we don't have any kilo to add to the knapsack so it's again zero so this is the notation opt i w it's a maximum profit subset for the item from one to i first i item with some weight w we have here two cases the first case if we decided to select item I if we decided to select item I so then first the easy case if we don't decide to select item I then it's easy we ignore item I we just decide to select the previous items so from 1 to I minus 1 and with the same W limit so this is the uh, case the first case second case case 2 is we decide to select item i in this case we need to add the value and then we need to look to the previous items opt i minus 1 okay but now we we already took some weight we decided to put this item so we have to subtract the weight of this item from the total weight okay because we decided to use this item and so the new weight will become W minus WI if we decided to select it and the opt select the best among the previous items so here is the recursive formula we take the maximum between opt i minus 1 w or if we decided to take the item v i plus opt i minus 1 and we update the weight so this is the recursive formula we have some two cases or these cases if i is 0 then it's clear opt is 0 if the item that we want item i has weight more than the allowed weight for sure we cannot use it so we come to this case similar to this case but here we are forced not to use it because the weight is so large so this is the recursive formula and based on this recursive formula we can just build the algorithm using dynamic programming we just program the previous formula again we do bottom up to find the values so actually we will make a table so let us uh, see in this example what are going we have five items they have weights values sorry and weights and the maximum value is 11 
So now, first thing, we make this table. This means the empty set. If we don't have any item, okay? Here, if you have only the first item, here, if you have only the first item and second item, here, if you have the first three items, first four items, first five items. And here, the weight. If you have weight zero, weight one, weight two, up to weight 11. And then we have to fill these cells with numbers. This is actually, this table is for opt I, W. So I goes from zero to N. So we have N plus one. And W goes from zero to W. So that's why we have W plus one uh, columns. So the first thing which is easy, if we have I is zero, if we don't have any item, so all the this value opt I will be zero. So the first row is always zero. Also this first column, why the first column? Because we don't have, we have weight zero. So we are not allowed to add any weight. So all the first column is zero. So now we are done with these values, easy values easy values. Let's try to see how we can get this value. What is this? This is opt 1 because we have one item and 1 because we are allowed to put one weight. So opt 1 1 should be equal to the maximum of opt So 1 minus 1, 0, 1, opt i minus 1 and w, or we add the value v1 plus opt 0, and then we modify the weight. So we take the weight, the current weight, which is 1, minus the weight of the first item. So it will be opt zero zero. <coughs> opt zero one, from where we get it? From here. Opt zero and one. So it's zero. This is zero. Opt zero zero, it's here, it's again zero. So which one is maximum? Zero or one plus zero? One plus zero. So the value is one. So we add one here. In the same way, we continue computing these values in this order. So every time we need to compute one value, we go back to the previous value. Let me take another example. So let me assume I want to compute this nice value. So I, 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 I computed all these values and I reach this one and I need to compute it. Yeah. So what is this? I don't know this. It's 19. We will have to compute it's 19. So this value is opt, is opt what? Is opt and it's in third row. It's opt three because we have the first three items and we have weight 6. We have to compute opt 3, 6, which is equal to the maximum of, uh, we have two cases. The first case is not to select item 3. In this case, it's opt 2, 6. Or we select item 3 in this case we have to add v3 plus opt 2 and we have to update the weight the current weight is 6 the weight of item 3 is 5 so it will be 2 and 1 6 minus 5 is 1 so what is opt 2 6 the nice thing is that this value now depends on the previous values opt 2 6 
up to six this value so it's seven so we have seven here and the other value we have v3 what is v3 18 plus what's up to one opt to one it's one so we have to compare seven or 18 plus one for sure 18 plus one is larger so the value is 19 you see the magic so this value we can know it depending on previous values and so on we keep continue unless we know this value this is the most important value so this tell me that if i have five items and if i have 11 kilograms then i i can get 40 value okay and this is the solution of the problem so this was how to use dynamic programming the running time because i have a table of n multiplied by w so the running time will be n w so i hope it's clear we took two examples about dynamic programming weighted interval program uh, interval scheduling and knapsack problem